the number one benefit America offers is free enterprise. It's mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. And it's for you to be able to do it at whatever scale. Any social issue that we have in America today, pick any social issue that we have in the world today, can and will be solved by entrepreneurs if we allow them to. I feel if we encourage more kids to want to go into entrepreneurship, if we encourage more universities, high schools, junior high schools, even elementary schools to start talking about entrepreneurship, kids are going to come up being inspired to saying, what problem can I solve? And if we do that, we're going to be okay. Everything is changing so fast. When I tell you everything, the way we're communicating, the way we're doing anything, the highest paid YouTuber last year was a seven-year-old that made $22 million. My favorite product in the world, some people like iPhones, some people like smartphones, some people like food. My favorite product in the world is people mm -hmm. because no two is the same. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. so fascinating to yeah. learn about them. So if you don't study what's going on in the marketplace, you're going to be led by somebody else who does. Again, staying connected to geopolitical, paying attention to industries that are changing and what regulations are changing allows you to adapt faster. And whoever adapts faster has an edge over those that adapt slower. That we're trying to stay in the middle as much as possible because there's a lot that the left can learn from the right and there's a lot that the right can learn from the left. I balance those two out. If I go to someone's home and they say, we never watch Fox News, you have blind spots. You have blind spots. You have blind <laughs> spots. And if I go to someone's house and they say, we never watch CNN, now you know that's fake news, you have blind spots. I intentionally like to sit with people I disagree with yeah. because I want to get their perspective. Yes. I want to learn from them. It's very easy to only sit with people you agree with. That's an easy conversation, but it's yeah. sitting with people that you disagree with their decision and say, how did you get to that point? Yes. I think I learned more like that. But yeah, people's the most beautiful product in the world. I love it, Patrick. Sometimes when people that are close of dying, but they don't die, they believe there's a destiny tied to mm -hmm. them, like you're supposed to do something. Is this a mathematical formula? Like, am I destined? Mm -hmm. I feel like God's using me in a way to do something big with my life, mm. but what is it? What is the mm. purpose? How come I don't know yet? Why aren't you telling me? So that's the battle.